One of the nagging questions that people might have about Christianity is this. If Jesus was planning on coming back, wouldn't he and shouldn't he have done so by now? And while that is a very understandable question to have, the Bible actually has quite a bit to say about what Jesus will be up to between his first and second advents. A big part of it is his role as the high priest in God's dwelling place in heaven. What does that mean? Well, let's find out. Around 2,000 years ago, Jesus died on the cross, rose again, and then ascended to heaven. He told us that he was going to heaven to prepare a place for us and that he would be coming back soon. His disciples were so sure that Jesus would return within their lifetime that they called those days the last days. They thought Jesus' return to earth was right around the corner, but it wasn't. And that was a long time ago. All we hear about nowadays are horrible crimes, natural disasters, diseases, and contaminated food. It seems like the world could destroy itself any day now. What's he waiting for? God gives us insight into this through the Bible, and it all starts with a tent. In the Old Testament, the Israelites were instructed to build a portable tent temple called the tabernacle. The tabernacle served a physical purpose, but is also a symbol of God's model for salvation of humanity that begins with Jesus. It was patterned after the real tabernacle in heaven. When Jesus went to heaven after his time on earth, he had provided all that was needed for salvation through dying on the cross. He had sacrificed himself like a lamb upon the altar. Instead of God showing up in the sky to proclaim the victory and force humanity to make their final decision, he made an interesting choice. He left that task to the care of humans. Jesus gave to us the Great Commission to go into all the world and tell everyone the good news of salvation. We are like trumpets declaring to the world that God loves us. It can feel like a huge responsibility to take a message to all the world. And if God did it himself, it would happen a lot faster. God has chosen to do it this way because he wants to give people the opportunity to make the choice to accept his love for themselves. He is not a coercive God, and he does not force us to follow him. And by allowing us to partner with him to do this work, we learn about his just character. Jesus says, when the message of the gospel goes to all the world, then the end will come. But how will God know who to take and who to leave? How can we be sure his actions will be just? In Daniel 7, verses 9 through 11, we read about a time when every person's desires and actions will be considered to see what they really want, to be a part of God's kingdom or not. At the end of this time, the message of salvation will have reached the ends of the earth. God's timing is perfect. Jesus will then return to earth to rescue those in their graves and the living from earth. God could consider each person and make those decisions in private and simply tell everyone to trust him. But he doesn't do that. God will open the history books for us to see for ourselves. He allows everyone in heaven to be in on the process and ensure that he has been just to every person. That is open and authentic government. That is how the kingdom of God works. This very moment, Jesus is in the heavenly tabernacle, working to reconcile humanity with God and working to determine who desires to be a part of God's kingdom. When this work is done, Jesus will return.